Hey guys, um, so I want to take a few minutes and talk about some of the new things that we got going on with, uh, with shotguns. Uh, as you know from my uh, writings and uh, uh, other things that I posted online, <clears throat> um, I believe that this is the ultimate close quarter battle weapon, especially for private citizens and for, quite honestly, for a, a, a number of law enforcement uh, operations, okay? Uh, especially with the advent of the, uh, the short barrel uh, attack uh, 14s and 13s and even the Mossbergs, um, you know, uh, this now has brought the shotgun into a realm that was unavailable to most people, uh, especially if they didn't want to go the NFA route. Um, but uh, in any case, this is our newest uh, offering in this area. It's called the Jungle Gun based on a attack 14. Um, it has a lot of the similarities of what uh, what we did with um, the uh, the Point Man series. Um, we'll start at the back here. <clears throat> um, you know, uh, again, these Boy Scouts asking their moms if they could look at bikini models is ridiculous. The analogy to that is in the gun world, every time something new comes along, some nimrod has got to write a letter asking if it's okay to do this and do that. Um, up until that point, we were doing uh, folding braces on these things, and you know, very well received. Um, in fact, we sold quite a few of them to law enforcement and uh, uh, actually some federal uh, folks. And, you know, as often happens, you know, some uh, overall wary Bubba wrote a letter asking if it was okay. And now it's in a gray area where perhaps it's not even a good idea to address it. So in any case, make a long story short, what we're doing with these is we're, uh, we're simply going with uh, a, uh, a fixed brace. Um, you know, it, it actually, it weighs a little bit less than with the uh, the folding brace that we were doing because there's a lot less metal involved here. Um, and uh, since it's not a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a stress-bearing part, we can uh, use uh, one of these aluminum units rather than uh, the all-steel that we were doing before. Um, we had an SBA-3. This is my preference of all of the braces that are out there right now. This is from SB Tactical. Now, we sell this <clears throat> as a unit. The, uh, the receiver interface, the SBA-3, the, the pistol grip, uh, et cetera. Okay, we sell that as a unit for your TAC-14 as well as your TAC-13, okay? And we have it for the Mossberg as well. So, uh, very nice unit. You can, uh, you know, you can modify to your um, personal requirements and whatnot. Um, we add uh, one of our own dome head safeties. Guys, you know, I'll be perfectly honest with you, these are the same as everybody else's. Uh, in fact, the guys that make them for everybody else are the same guys that make them for us. But uh, since we don't have dealers, you know what? Ours are uh, more cost effective for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> anyway, we do all of the internal things, okay? I got my, my gunsmith staff down there. They're a bunch of gun alchemists. You know, they take this thing apart. They polish the hell out of it, um, you know, and it just, they make it so smooth. It's ridiculous, okay? This is like a... It feels like an 870 that's gone like, you know, 10,000 rounds or something like that. Um, just so smooth, butter smooth. Everything is uh, is tuned up. All the internals, guys, are MP3. Now, okay, internals, the action bars, and like I said, it just makes this thing so smooth it's ridiculous, okay? Um, <clears throat> in any case, moving up the, uh, I'll talk about the sights in a minute, just relax. Um, you know, we, uh, I personally like the old school Surefire fore end. Okay. I don't like the ones that they have now. They're overly heavy. They're overly large and they're overly bright. And yes, having hunted men inside structures before you can have an overly bright light. The guys that tell you that you want the most movements possible. They have never hunted human beings inside a building before. Okay, at least not armed ones. Okay, so this is bright enough. I think this is uh, just under a thousand lumens, um, you know, something in that in that realm. Plenty bright enough for anything inside a house, uh, and even extending out to the limit of what you can probably do with a 12 gauge. Okay, I like these. Hopefully, Surefire Company, if you're listening, Mr. Matthews, please bring this back instead of the ones that you have now. Um, okay, Andy, don't forget to tell them about. Okay, um, we add our plus one uh, magazine tube because you know what? One more, nobody ever died from having one more round. Okay, uh, we port the barrel. Why do we port the barrel? Because nobody ever won a gunfight by having more recoil. Okay, 
You can reduce recoil, make this thing a little bit more shootable. Um, it's definitely a, a good thing to have. Okay, now, the sights, which is what all these guys were sending me emails about. Okay, have a look at these. I'm going to bring these close, okay, so you can kind of check it out. Okay, see that? All right, now I'm going to violate the rules and, and point the, let's see how I can do that with the camera. Okay, check that out. All right, you see how those look. All right, here's the rear one. Okay, check that out. You know, now I've got it in conjunction with my RMR because I think all modern weapons should have some sort of a red dot on them, some sort of an optic. I see this is a green triangle because it's what we had in the warehouse. You know what? It's kind of cool on a shotgun, okay? I'll talk about that a little bit later. But anyway, this is what we have. Um, <clears throat> guys, we have uh, the company that makes us the sights uh, for uh, Benelli and uh, the Beretta 1301. These are the same guys that we're getting these sights from, okay? Um, they're not plug-in, as you can see, on a, on a shotgun barrel, okay? It's got to be welded on there, okay? And my guys are really good at doing that, okay? You can kind of take a look and see. It looks like a work of art. It's like Michael frickin' Angelo uh, put this thing on there, okay? Um, the sights are perfect to co-witness with the RMR. Uh, and, uh, you know... Basically, they're, they're available on the site now. Um, I will, uh, I'll include a link um, to the, uh, the product page. Um, there's no point in you buying the sites because you gotta have them installed. So we offer the service, the sites, and the installation. And we can put these on anything. We can put them on a Mossberg, we put them on a 870. As long as we can weld on the barrel, um, you know, we can, uh, we can certainly do that. Um, and uh, you know what? They're 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 really cool. You know, you can get a great sight picture on here. Um, and uh, so, you know, if you like the ghost ring sights instead of the rifle sights, uh, this is this is definitely the way to go. So anyway, guys, this is uh, this is it. The let me get in position here so you can see. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is the jungle gun. It's the latest iteration from uh, the gunsmiths at Suarez International. I think this is a pretty good uh, system here. I think it's the ultimate available CQB weapon uh, that uh, that you can use, okay? Uh, five in the tube, one in the chamber, that's six shots of, you know, get the hell off my lawn, okay? <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll talk again soon.